What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another account progression video. Alright, so it is time to get another tier 2 character and as you can see here, it is going to be Iron Man. So uh, yes, my Iron Man is still just tier 1, so been he's been sitting here for quite a while now because I've definitely had his gears done for a very long time. I've just never got around to tier 2-ing him. Um, and with this last uniform sale, I finally bought his Infinity War uniform, so I figure, you know what, it is finally time to uh, get Iron Man here to tier 2, and he is a discounted character, so there's no reason to really just uh, keep him at tier 1, especially since he is pretty dang good with this uniform, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at him before we tier 2 him. Um, so for his skills here, I believe the first skill is like the only one you need to level up you get extra bleed damage from this skill so it's not going to apply to world bosses but uh, for Shadowland and stuff like that you can get that extra bleed damage um, oh no you do need to level this up because uh, it does increase the damage of the illusions that he summons on that third skill that just kind of uh, hover around and shoot kind of like uh, plasma beams at the enemy so that is nice 120% of uh, the uh, summoner's stats so it's a nice bonus right there i like to see anything over 100 percent is really good um, and i don't think you need to level this one up i believe it's always going to be three seconds of damage immunity unless it's uh starting at below 100 percent then definitely level this skill up but we have three seconds of immune to all damage here on the fifth skill which is also really nice uh, the other skills don't really have any kind of buff effects on them so you don't need to worry about those uh, for his Isolate set, we have uh, Power the Angry Hulk, so I did finally re-roll his Isolate set because I just had Starks backing on him for the longest time, and with this new uniform, I definitely like having a more offensive set on him, so Power the Angry Hulk, Overdrive are all good options for him. Um, and then for the custom gear here, our Ovelisk is a Immune to Guard Break, Ignore Dodge, and Damage Proc. Again, with this uniform, he is more offensive, so I definitely like giving him a damage proc, but you can also go with invincibility, of course, to try to uh, keep him alive a little bit longer, because he does only have one iframe, if I remember correctly. Uh, we'll find out, of course, when we get into uh, some gameplay, but I believe there's only one iframe, and it was on the third skill, um, but he does, have, of course, have the damage immunity on the fifth skill that you can use to also protect him, and I like having the immune to guard break, because definitely, at least for the fifth skill, uh, since it's not an iframe and he kind of gets rooted in place and shoots those beams at the enemy, um, you can get guard broken out of that quite easily. And then also the fourth skill where he's charging around is definitely not an iframe either. So you can get guard broken from uh, like a world boss or something like that that doesn't get guard broken or stun locked from your skill. Uh, for the uniform itself, we just have it at rare so I haven't really leveled it up too much but... Uh, it is leveled up some. So now that we've kind of gone over Iron Man here, let's go ahead and get Tony to uh, tier 2 finally. So yes, we're going to be doing this naturally because I have all the materials. And like I said, he is a discounted character. So I might as well save my ticket for one of the characters that costs more. So boom, there we go. All right. So Tony Stark tier 2. He's got evasive maneuvers now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what he gets. Uh, so pretty much a all damage tier 2 here. It gives an increase to skill damage by 42% and bonus damage by 30%. So pretty plain tier 2, nothing too special, but it will increase his damage output by quite a bit, so it is nice to have. And then of course having him at tier 2 allows him to participate in some game modes that he may not uh, be able to otherwise, like World Boss Ultimate and things like that. So let's go ahead and close this out here. Uh, so we have I am... Iron Man. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Iron Man tier two. So now it's uh, yeah time to get into a little bit of gameplay here. So let's go ahead and hop over to that. All right, so here we are at uh, Shadowland. We have floor 15 that we're going to be trying out uh, Tony on. So it is an entry mode. So that's why I decided to uh, do this stage here because those ones are usually a little more difficult and we can also kind of show off some of his uh, AoE and crowd control because his skills do have some pretty uh, wide effects on them. And where are you, Tony? At the very bottom there. Um, his own leadership is just a skill cooldown reduction, which we don't need because we're maxed out on skill cooldown anyway, but we're just going to be taking him in by himself just so we can show off uh, Tony without any help here. And since it is only floor 15, uh, he shouldn't have any issues, especially since we do have a damage proc on him, so I don't see him not being able to clear this in time. Uh, 
All right, so let's go ahead and start this off with the third skill so we can get those uh, summons out. And also there is the iframe, and then as you can see from the fifth skill that gives him the immunity, uh, is not an iframe, and then right here where he's charging around, not an iframe. And right there, doesn't look like that was an iframe either. Uh, as you can see, the damage is really nice. So uh, yeah, it looks like a third skill is the only iframe on him. But since um, he does have that damage immunity on the fifth skill, and then the iframe on the third skill does get a lot of movement on him, you can get away from the enemies quite easily. So I don't see it being too much of a problem. Oh, we got stunned there. Uh, too much of a problem to you do a damage proc on him instead of um, invincibility. Uh, but yes, you can still get stunned during the skills since you're not in an iframe. So that is one thing that could be a little annoying. Alright, so there we go. Finish off Kate there. Boom. Alright, so not too bad. It was a little uh, a little tougher for that second half right there. Just because we got stunned quite a few times. But we still able to get through it. So overall looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, one more gameplay clip. Alright, so here we are at uh, World Boss Ultimate. We're going to be taking on Cole Obsidian. Uh, we have stage 15 that we're going to be trying out here. And the team I went with is this one here. We have Captain Marvel for the leadership, 30% to energy attack. Uh, and then we have Coulson for his tier 2 passive. And we get two team ups here, which is pretty nice. Uh, we have the I Am Iron Man, which is with Coulson, and that gives uh, ignore defense and crit damage. And then with Captain uh, Marvel here, we have a attack uh, increase for energy attack. And then crowd control we're not really going to be using, but the energy attack is really nice. Um, and then we'll go with all damage strikers except for anti-venom there because we do want that healing because uh, we're definitely going to need it against a black dwarf here just because if we do get hit even once without our damage immunity up uh, we will get bled or we're going to get bled for quite a bit of damage actually so yeah that bleed's quite annoying that's one of the more annoying things about this fight here is getting hit with that bleed damage because even if you run away and you're avoiding all of his attacks you get hit once and that bleed damage just wrecks you but let's see what we can do here with Tony. All right. All right, let's go, Tony. What do you got? Going to take down Black Dwarf for me? What? Oh, Captain Marvel apparently wanted a piece of this because she was going in and attacking before I even hit any buttons. All right, and I'm going to be trying to get the damage proc on the fifth skill most of the time here. Um, I think the fourth skill, which would be the other skill that you might want to get the damage proc on, is a physical damage attack, so definitely not going to be very useful against Black Dwarf here. I probably should have checked, but I think it's physical damage. And we're time frozen. Fantastic. Alright, so far so good. But of course we do have um, Wanda as a striker here, so she's definitely going to be helping out with the mind control, and that really helps in the survivability. Which is going to be Tony's weakest uh, point here, especially when fighting uh, world bosses, just because he can't stun lock them or anything. But the damage is whoa, pretty good, but we need to get away from that. Alright, Black Dwarf, calm down. Black Dwarf is going on a rampage right now. Alright, is he doing more of those purple attacks? Oh, nope, he's going into his cutscene. Alright, that works for me. Alright, so, so far, not too bad. Damage is pretty good here for this stage. Uh, I don't think that should have hit me. I was in an iframe right there. Because that attack doesn't hit you if you're in an iframe. 
which is the same for all of his um, purple attacks. All of his purple attacks, if you're in an iframe, they will not hit you. Alright, we need you to strike uh, Anti-Venom. Come on, Anti-Venom, we need you. Oh wait, he dropped stuff over here. I'll take that, and that. And now we wait. And there we go. Alright, so we're healed up a little bit there. As you can see, the damage is definitely uh, getting a lot worse, and that's just because Black Dwarf stacks his defense the longer the fight goes on, and that's both energy and physical defense. So it just gets a lot... Uh, what? How did... Okay. Well, we got hit there somehow. I'm not sure what hit me or how I died, but I don't really feel like trying that again just because I really hate fighting Black Dwarf. So that's going to be uh, what we're going to see for Tony there. He definitely could have cleared that. He definitely had the damage. Um, he has the survivability if I was playing, I guess, a little more carefully. I just probably needed to try to dodge more of his attacks. Um, but yeah, he can definitely do that. So overall, uh, Iron Man at tier 2, definitely a really strong character in terms of damage, so he can put out a lot of damage. Uh, you do need to be a little careful when you're trying to keep him alive uh, during these kind of fights. But Black Dwarf here, it's mainly just like the bleed damage and stuff that gets you passively because you can chain together his skills pretty well. Uh, the third skill into the fifth skill, then you have that three seconds where you can use either the second first or fourth, whichever one of those you want to use, uh, but then you kind of have to back off until the third skill is ready and you kind of just repeat that rotation if you want to make sure uh, you're pretty much safe the entire time, so you will have to kite around a little bit with him in that aspect, but if you're playing in Shadowland, you can definitely just chain all of his skills together and you can keep the enemy stun locked because you do have a lot of AoE, and then the summons on his third skill, so those things are pretty nice, those um, plasma beams or energy blasts uh, keep the enemies stun locked pretty well, and since there's so many of them, you get a lot of hits with them, so they're really nice to have out on the field the entire time, but that's going to be it for this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely am happy to have Iron Man finally at Tier 2. Definitely going to be using him in Shadowland just if I want to have some fun during uh, some world boss fights. Not necessarily against Black or Cole Obsidian here. I definitely fight him the least out of all the world bosses just because he's so annoying to fight. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed and of course I will catch you in the next one.